if you want to see Tarkin excited without 10 cups of Turkish coffee, talk to him about education. He's a great leader in education and has been doing lots of great work in our community. At the Silicon Valley Education Foundation, we are absolutely obsessed with preparing students for college and careers. Hopefully, you can appreciate that. Um, when I see lots of great business leaders, I see a couple of traits. One is they've had a great education. Two, they've been a little lucky. And three, they've worked really hard. So hopefully, we can ensure a great public education for all students. And unfortunately, in Silicon Valley, that's just not the case. We have two Silicon Valleys, the one up 280 and the one up 101, where not enough students are ready for the courses required for the UC and CSU system, um, whom you will hear from in a second, um, which are called the A to G courses. Only half of our kids qualify for a four-year institution after high school in Silicon Valley, which is just not acceptable. At Silicon Valley Education Foundation, we are, we are working on this exact goal. How do we change policies to do that? For instance, we hosted a computer science summit where we talked about only one in 10 kids in kindergarten to 12th grade education take a computer science course. That's not, that you're not gonna get the talent you need unless we change that number, and I invite you to join us in changing that number so more kids are taking scratch in elementary school, taking AP computer science in high school, and when you look at AP computer science in high school and you wanna talk about African American kids, there's only about six in the entire state that complete that course which is not acceptable. At Silicon Valley Education Foundation, we're working on that exact challenge and how we bring great policies, how we bring great programs like preparing students in math and science or the STEM careers, as well as innovation and taking great education technology companies inside the classroom. And thirdly, an initiative that, that um, Tarkin has been leading is how do we get great technology in our, in, our, in our schools? Chris Funk, the superintendent of the largest high school district in California is here as well talking about how do we get the right technologies that you just heard about in our education system, which in some would say are living in centuries old technology. So with that, I hope you will join us on October 1st. We have a great event where Tarkin will also be moderating on October 1st at Pioneers and Purpose where we'll have Tom Friedman, lots of great leaders at the Fairmont. We hope you can join us um, in that. But now I'd like to introduce from the K-12 system to our higher education system, which is one of the finest in the world. And the leader of that system is Janet Napolitano, the president of the University of California system. Just to tell you a couple of anecdotes about, about Janet. She was ranked the world's ninth most powerful woman in 2012. She was cited by New York Times to be one of the first women who will actually be president. There's a book on your table. She's important too, but right now I'd like you <laughs> I'd like you I'd like to introduce someone who has been the first female attorney general of Arizona, the governor of Arizona, and only the fourth head of the United States Secretary of Homeland Security. I'm sure she has some great stories from there as well. Please join me in welcoming Janet Napolitano.